Hello, good evening all and welcome to Moment with God. My name is Joyce Gannon and I hope you've had a lovely day as I've had. Um, I've been working but it's been a beautiful day and productive day for me. So I hope you had a productive day too. Um, today I'm going to be starting a mini series called Developing Godly Characters in Us. And I think the development of um, godly character is something that every Christian should strive for. It's everything that Christians should strive to achieve. I'm not, when I say strive, I'm not talking about striving. I want you to do it in yourself. You know, to obtain, to, to develop godly characters, it takes humility, it takes obedience. So humility meaning submitting all your flaws, everything to God and saying, God, I cannot change myself. I cannot I cannot produce um, whatever it is that needs producing in you uh, um, yourself, but that you know with the help of God you can. So developing godly character that I'm about to talk about, I'm not saying that we should um, strive or work hard to attain it, but just like acknowledging where we are weak in different areas and submitting those areas to, to God and submitting, surrendering ourselves to the Holy Spirit for the Holy Spirit to show us different aspects in our lives. Because all the things that I'm going to be pointing out in this series, they're not going to be just... Um, we are all not going to be in the same place. So some of us, we've conquered that um, some areas of, um, of weaknesses in our lives while other people have not. So it's going to be different. But whatever it is that you are struggling with, you, you know, now just today when you listen to this, say, okay, I'm going to be following this series. And, I, and before I even um, come to the end of it, I, can, I will submit myself to the Holy Spirit and ask the Holy Spirit to reveal to me the area in my life that still needs um, working on, that still needs developing. Because sometimes how we see ourselves is not necessarily how people see us. And sometimes we can have one opinion of ourselves, other people have another opinion of us. But who, the, the opinion that matters is one of Christ and of the Holy Spirit. So we need to go to God to, to, to show us our weak, the area of our weaknesses. So, so today, the first thing I want to talk about today is honesty. You know, honesty is marked as being free from this from deceit or untruthfulness or uh, being sincere. That's what honesty is. The Christian's life should be marked. You know, should be the Christian should be one marked with honesty and integrity. Yet, because we all sin. This is because we all sin, and that's a fact. We all we all have our weaknesses. Then we then need, we need to to work on this area of our lives. We need to be striving every day, every day to 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 choose to walk in honesty and integrity. And sometimes this can easily elude us because we we come to sometimes we can find ourselves in a very tight spot or in a difficult situation and. In trying to get out of that situation, we tell a little lie, we, we being economical with the truth, and we end up being dishonest, even when we didn't set out to be. So we need to work hard at it. You know, an honest life is important on so many levels. From our relationship with our spouse to our relationship with our work colleagues to our managers, the things we do, how we carry out our work when people are there and when people are not there, those things are very important. They are important not just to you, not just you know for your life, because honestly, when you work in um, insincerity and in deceit, you are you are on edge all the time. You know, have you ever heard the frame that if you tell a lie, you have to tell another lie to, 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 um, you have to tell another lie to cover up the previous lies. So you are continually lying. And at the end of the day, you won't even remember what you said that was untruth or what is true or what is false anymore because you just become a pathological liar even though you just think uh, you used to say oh it was just a little lie i said a little lie but next time when you are in the meeting you have to remember the lie you told the previous time and then you have to come up with another lie to quickly cover up the previous lies so to walk in honesty and integrity is freeing for us as Christians, even for people who are not Christians, who are not um, believers, it's, it's free for anybody to live your life as an open book. 
you know and you know matthew um 7 16 tells us that we are known by our fruits so let us be examples of a god of truth that we serve a god of truth and live and live our life by living lives of integrity and truthfulness what do second corinthians tell us second corinthians chapter 8 verse um, 21 say for we are for we are taking pains to do what is right not only in the eyes of the lord but also in the eyes of men so when we are at work for example that's work workplace is is an example when we are at work and we are known as people of integrity and truth sometimes people will come to you they want your opinion because they say, I need somebody to tell me the truth. I need to know the real truth about this. Why don't you, you know, try to be the go-to person in your place of work? That when people want to find out the truth and they want to, they want somebody with integrity. They want somebody they can trust. They want somebody they can rely on that they come to you. That, you say, by their fruits, you shall know them. So if we really want to walk in the life that Christ has died to give us, to live in fullness, to live, to live in fullness, to live in freedom, to always have joy and happiness and not live on the edge all the time, very, you know, and, and sometimes being oversensitive because when somebody asks you a question, you think, oh, what are they trying to find out? And because you are quickly searching, you know, what did I say to them last time? But, you know, but when we walk in integrity and we walk in truth and we are being sincere in every area of our lives, we can be anything, anybody can shine their light into our lives and they'll find the same thing that you've already presented to them i'm not saying that we all don't have our secrets our family secrets i mean not even secret things that are private to us that's not what i'm talking about you don't have to open up all your private life to people to see but i'm talking in your actions in your character because god is a truthful god he's the spirit of truth God is God God has integrity. God is honest. Where if you look through the scriptures from the Old Testament to the New Testament, there's no changes. Whatever God said in Genesis chapter 1 verse 1 is what he said in, in the book of Revelation. You know, I'm not saying, you know, if there's a thread running through the Bible. God is constant. God is truthful. Jesus was honest and truthful. In every question that he was asked in the Bible, he he, he spoke the truth. And he said, the Holy Spirit is the spirit of truth who reveals us truth. So why can't, let us grow in our godly character by being honest in every area of our lives. Be honest with your spouse. Be honest with your colleagues. Be honest with your neighbors. Be honest with, your, with the stranger on the streets. And let your integrity shine for people to see. And always remember Second Corinthians chapter 8, verse 21. For we are taking pains to do what is right, not only in the eyes of God, but in the eyes of men. And by this, people will know that we belong to the truth. Jesus is truth. The Holy Spirit is the spirit of truth. So let us be children of truth. And if you struggle with a little bit of... Um, if you know of untruthfulness or insincerity and it's something that you just can't help so i want to give you a practical step to do it today first of all go to the scripture search out all the words that have to do with honesty and integrity in the bible and then start to meditate on those scriptures and then when you wake up in the morning before you start your day in your devotion time Commit your days in the hands of God and say, Holy Spirit, today, as I walk through today, help me to be honest. Help me to say, stay true to you. And every time that I want to say something that is untrue or that is insincere, give me a check in my spirit. And if you truly do that and you truly mean it, the Holy Spirit is so faithful. When you come to a tough decision, when it would have been easy for you to lie, the Holy Spirit will remind you to tell the truth. God bless you. 
and keep you and help you to grow in his character. In Jesus' name, amen.